Girls are living life right now. <laughs> One of our iFam who works at Alton Towers called Bella came to meet us, didn't she? And get pictures and say hi. Yeah. And she actually brought the girls some LOL stickers. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have the big uh, Alton Towers vlog and this one is going to be special. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this. A little bit later on, we're going to be talking about something that I very, very rarely talk about. In fact, I don't think I've ever really discussed in great detail on this channel. So please stay tuned for that and we'll get right into it shortly. Oh. My gosh! <laughs> oh. Wow, that is some lovely weather right there, Sarah. I can't wait to see you in uh, the towers, right? I don't mean Alton. <laughs> the, the towers, like, you know, the, the prison, the dungeons. Yeah, yeah, fucking hell. Oh. Oh, this is the best birthday in the world, isn't it? It's so sweet. Good morning, iFam, and welcome to Isla's 12th birthday vlog. 12. What we've got planned is a full two days outdoors, <laughs> and it's 90% chance rain for the full two days. And it all can day. be raining for what we're doing, like what we're doing. It. And it will spoil it if, yeah. it's, if it continues heavy raining. There'll still be some things we can do. Yeah, but it will, like, yeah. It's gonna dampen some of the day. Oh wow, are you I just was traumatized from running outside. It's really rainy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm more angry at the fact that we have dry robes at home oh. and we didn't bring them. Uh, so we're gonna be drenched from everything. No, oh, I've literally got a denim jacket, that's all I brought. I brought myself a denim jacket. That's all I've got. Wait, you don't actually have the coat? No, I've got a denim Mom. jacket. You didn't bring yourself a jacket, a coat of any description, Sarah. <laughs> Again, if only there was some sort of way, some method of finding out the weather before you went, you know. If only there was something that could tell you. I don't know what it is, but fucking hell. You've got Crocs with you as well. And I've got Crocs. No, I don't care about Crocs. You feet, yeah, but they've got holes. Yeah, but, I'd, yeah, but there's nothing worse. Yeah, but there's nothing worse than having boots on that are soaking wet. Mum, I prefer Crocs. Boots don't get wet. Your boots don't get wet because. <sighs> Guys, do you know what? It is what it is. I've got Crocs Mom, and I've got a denim coat, Mom, and that's that. You actually didn't bring a coat. Like, you no, actually don't have a coat. No, I promise you, I don't have a coat. I've got you a denim have a jacket. Hood? No, my hood, yeah, denim jacket's got a hood. Oh. We've got umbrellas. Okay, Sarah. So why don't you possibly take? part of your 10k a day wage and pop to the shop and buy yourself a coat right <laughs> most people would do that if they had the funds to do so and apparently i'm not saying it's true but apparently you do have those sort of funds so you know off you pop mom you'll be freezing i won't i'm gonna wear aurora i'm gonna wear her on me well at least she's good for something then eh sarah at least having a baby is finally going to pay off. You're going to wear your baby on you. That brings up the other question, though, isn't it? Should your baby be going out in this weather to a theme park, right? I'm going to say it's not a necessity. Keep your baby at home. Keep her warm. Keep her dry. And don't take her around a theme park just so that you can stay warm. Um, because I was planning on Aurora going in the double pram with Mila. With the rain cover. Get However, jacket, Jace is going to gonna need to go in that because if Jace just gets miserable and wet, it's not going to be fair. So Jace is going to have to. And I can wear Aurora so she'll keep warm with me and an umbrella. <laughs> So now I didn't actually hear what you plan to do with Mila in this. Um, you're going to wear your baby so that she doesn't get wet. You're going to put Jace in the buggy, pram or whatever it is, so he doesn't get miserable and wet. But it's okay for Mila just to wander about getting wet and everything. So I'm thinking, right, now don't get me wrong, I think that... that... Isla deserves a day out for her birthday, but I don't think Alton Towers is it. Now, you planned this for days ahead or whenever it was. You would have had access to the weather reports beforehand. You would have known that there was a storm coming and yet you still went. It's not fair to drag your three very young children around a theme park, especially when most of the things that they can't actually do, so they'll just be hanging about doing 
fuck all. all right so just think about that and um yeah no you're gonna do it anyway aren't you so I'm gonna keep the jacket thing on. Do you know the sling that's got oh, a jacket on it? No, I didn't. What sling with the jacket? Yeah, that, that baby sling that has a baby a jacket. It's like in there. No, that's a jacket. I don't yeah, have that. Yeah, I don't have that. I told have you. you got I jump, then? Have you got a jump? No, I. Oh, Mom, yeah, it's not summer. It's April. <laughs> April showers. <laughs> it's gonna be a cold one. So you didn't get a, a jacket. In it. Esme, listen to me. Listen, I'm wearing this shirt and a denim jacket. Nothing else. No, no. Because I always get too hot anyway. Mom, you're crazy. I've got nothing, Esme, though. This and a denim jacket without a hoodie. Oh, nah, I'm not wearing your white fox. Yeah, no, I'll ruin it. No, <sighs> I'm fine. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Right, we're all about to... Well, actually, we need to sort the guinea pigs out first because we're not sleeping here tonight and the guinea pigs are coming into the caravan. We are only about 15, 20 minutes away. So we will be popping back here tonight to refeed the guinea pigs again. What, darling? Oh, you can't wear a necklace. necklace. You're very cute. It was a necklace. Right. Daddy, hold oh, the man. Down, so the we are getting such bad luck on this little trip I'm right now. I'm having to hold it because if the wind comes, it'll go inside out. So when the wind comes, I just have to <laughs> shut myself. Okay, so I'm not being mean or anything, but um, this picture right here does fill me with a little bit of um, self-satisfaction. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not satisfied that they're not enjoying themselves. But look at um, poor little Isabel's oh. face, isn't it? A picture she's um and there she goes off off with her babies uh, yeah just why is she um <laughs> why is she, she pushing the pram with the two babies I, I or the two toddlers my god why you know it almost looks like she's a teen mum mind you she has been since Jace has been born so you know that's it it's done it's done it's gone <laughs> Oh my god, what on earth? <laughs> oh no. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's ruined. It's ruined. <laughs> the wind just took me, it's ruined. It's totally ruined. What's, the, what's going on with the weather? Oh my gosh, it's so, so wet and cold today. It's not even that it's raining, it's like absolute gale force winds at the same time so it's just horrible like genuinely horrible to be out in thankfully chris lent me one of his fleeces which has got a zip on the front so i'll be able to feed aura with this on and she's happy she's fast asleep deep in there with her coat on she's got a blonde coat on so what happens if that blanket gets wet if it gets drenched which it will because you know it's blowing a fucking gale out there and it's chucking it down right so what happens if it gets damp soaked through it will seep through to your baby I'm just saying that it's not a foolproof plan that's waterproof I also did bring extra coats for the younger three so even if their coats get <laughs> they look like they're gonna fall asleep we did get up early this morning but they're nice and toasty and warm in the pram with the rain cover on we do have extra coats for them though if they do get wet but yeah it's going to be a bit of a rainy, wet, cold one for us older ones. Okay, we made it to the Monorail. Where we're at? Yeah. Father's birthday. Yeah. So basically today we are at Allen Towers. Yay! Rainy resort. Rainy resort. <laughs> All right. So we're here for the next two days. We've got fast passage for birthday, so it doesn't matter about this weather. We're going to run around and get yeah. a ton of stuff done, hopefully, so as long as things don't close because of the weather. And now this is open again now. No, this is sure. on. So I'm really excited to go check it out. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good couple of days. Whatever happens, we don't care about the rain. It's all good. Although we probably shouldn't have chosen to wear massive baggy jeans because the backs might have gone see-through that way. You can see my pink trainers underneath. Literally. It's always got big clogs on, so they're not that bad. But, oh, but look, they're still like going under my. Is there all the style difference? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> cope with how funny that was <laughs> so Mila I thought she'd been 90 centimeters by now I feel like she's been in the 80s for so long she's over 80 I know no she's, she's just she's on eight. she's super, only just over 80 centimeters tiny. she's so teeny tiny but anyway she can't go on a lot of the rides well she can she can do lots of the rides in CBeebies land but 
there's another category that's below 120 and over 90 which I was hoping she'd be able to today but no she's only just over oh, 80 centimeters did you <laughs> but anyway so I brought her to this little is this Dougie 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 play area it's so good yeah, it's, cool. it's so good and they came off the ride the older ones I'm like can we play too so now everyone's in here playing but I wanted to film this because you know these things here but you talk I'll tell Ellie to go say hi again that you talk through. <laughs> She'll talk to you, yeah. You go. Hey Chase, Mila, come here. Come here, come here. Isla were talking. She, she started talking to Isla through it. And then Isla spoke back and she was so confused. She literally huh? And then she moved like to the other side of that tiny pole. And was trying to look for Isla around the pole. It was so cute. She's trying to find you around the pole. She walked around the back of the pole. She's like, huh? Isla? Huh? She was so confused. Look at that shorts, look at still like a blue one here. I really wanted to do Jay's last time, but he was too small, so it was just under 90. Was he? Yeah, just under it. So I couldn't do the roller coaster with him, but I can now. So Yay! And the rain stopped. It's still very windy, but the rain stopped. And it's not windy right now, so that's good. Oh, 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 thank God, really, you saved me. Did you just pull Daddy thank out? You the so pole? You saved me from the pie. <laughs> I was stuck in bed. Aurora's still fast asleep. <laughs> That's so funny. He's gonna fall out of the island. That's me. That's it. That's because you're evil. Oh yeah, you're being evil to your big sister. What was that? Is he want some more? No, don't. She did. She said she wants some more. Go, go. No! <laughs> Let's make it do a loop the loop. Loop the loop. Are you ready? Loop the loop. To the space. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? No. I said you can push me now, buddy. So you can get revenge now, Nyla. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Nyla. Birthday girl. Birthday bumps. <laughs> Not is. As well as trying to find something to sit on, because all the benches here are absolutely soaking wet, and I got yeah. so lucky. It's just as I was walking up, somebody got up from this one and they just left the nicest butt dry patch in the shape of a butt that I just plunked mine in. So it's great. Anyway, Arabella just woke up. <laughs> you just wake up. She's just having a taste of blueberry muffin. That's why she's concentrating right now. And you, did you just have a taste of blueberry muffin? She's not got any in her mouth right now. She can just get the flavour of your sister. Is it good? <laughs> so as Esme said before, she's been wanting to take Jace on this Octonauts roller coaster adventure that looks pretty epic, not gonna lie, it looks quite fun. And they've just gone on that. Isla, Daddy, Esme and Jace. Mila's too little for this one, so she's having a blueberry muffin out, you darling. She's ha she's not sad about it. She, I think she's a bit too young. Every time, yeah, every single time we said you can't go on this one, she's been like, oh, okay. She's looked a bit disappointed, but she's not played up or anything. So she's taken it well. After we've done Octonauts roller coaster with Jace, the Spinball Wizards just opened. And seeing as though Aurora's awake now, I'm gonna go on that with the girls. So we just did Spinball Wizard. We realised that it's probably my first roller coaster in years because I've not done a roller coaster obviously since I've been pregnant with Aurora. But even then, oh, what's going on? Even then. I think I was breastfeeding Mila, and like I just don't think I just don't feel like I've been on a roller coaster in ages. I can't remember exactly how long. Anyway, little Isla wants to next. Whoop! Yes. She wants to go okay, on. So I think we all want to go on 13 and Rita, and then Galactica and Nemesis, and then that. Would be so I know the smile. But, but I did want to go on Smile because I've never been on it before, but it's closed. Exit is all shut. Yeah. I think it's because of the wind. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be all good. Nothing's happening down there, not a billion. 
So I got the wind now, the wind now has got a little bit bit then. That's what keeps doing it. It's fine one minute and then it's properly yeah. gale in the next. But yeah, I think obviously they're high roller coasters down there, so I think because of the wind, that's why they're the both closed. Him. The guy who puts Sonic thingy that we just did. Yeah. He said that well before we went with Mum said that a lot of the bigger rides down there are shutting because yeah, the I did. Wind's I yeah. Like, so that's what it's called it spinball wizard. Spin oh no. But it's been always but it's Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Are we used to I don't know. It's like a wizard it's not. Like you used to be Sonic, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, we used to get the, the pink game. girl. Amy, the pink Sonic girl. And I used to go, Mum, please come and get the pink Sonic girl. I just realised that they weren't orange, pink, blue cats. I only just realised. I just realized, we, we always call it Sonic. But now I think it's been Bob's Edge different. Why we always called it Sonic? It's because of Must the game. Must have been old Sonic. It was Sonic, but I've been calling it Sonic. Oh it's God, called Pinball because of the game. Yeah, the game, the Pinball. Yeah. yeah, that's why it flies up. Right, so what do you want to do, Isla? Because them two okay. are closed. It's so annoying because we've got a fast pass for them as well. And now we can't, because the UQ's always massive. And now we still can't do it because they're closed. But I think we, but we do have tomorrow. Rita and Rita 13 and right. then Nemesis and Glut. Right, so where do you want to go first? Rita and Let's go. Let's go. As closest. Isla, I can't believe you're making me do this. I'm not making it. I do not, I do not like Rita. I'm not making it. Not making me. You don't have to sit with the birthday girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> we just saw it and it went so fast. I know. It's a fast one. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, God, no. That's the ugliest picture of me I've ever seen. Guys, no, I'm not laying right. That is. One of the park members, one of our IFAM, Charlie, hello if you're watching this, very kindly just came over to us and said hi and was saying that we've been, she's been watching our vlogs since the very beginning when she was about 11, I think she said 10 or 11. She said that she wrote me a big paragraph out and that I replied to her and that I literally made her whole life and that she just was so happy that day and she cried and things like that. It's just so sweet. Listening to things like that. Wow, the memories, Sarah. You actually met an actual IFAM in Alton Towers who works in Alton Towers. Do you remember the last IFAM that worked at Alton Towers that you met whilst you were there? Do you remember that? It was a living life right now. <laughs> One of our IFAM who works at Alton Towers called Bella came to meet us, didn't she, and get pictures and say hi? Yeah. And she actually brought the girls some LOL stickers. Yeah, no. And that girl who worked there, called Bella, did in fact pre-arrange to meet them. She was actually very good. She emailed them the day before. She said, hi, I work at Alton Towers, cleaning the lodges and hotels. I love watching your channel. Please may I come over tomorrow to say hello and get a photo. So she was very nice. The Ingham family replied, presumably Chris, but uh, it says, hi Bella, we have breakfast booked at the lodges restaurant at 10 a.m feel free to come say hi then and in fact she did come say hi as we can see now by these pictures uh, there's bella there with all the fam and uh, chris doing his best come hither look i think <laughs> So he's a card, isn't he, Christopher? Yeah, so that's that's lovely, isn't it? So as we can see that they did in fact meet at Alton Towers at the on the occasion that they said, right. 
One of our IFAM who works at Alton Towers called Bella came to meet us, didn't she? However, after they met later that same day, Chris started emailing Bella and um, it almost became a bit of an obsession, I feel, Chris, don't you think? He says, Hey Bella, just wanted to drop you a message to say thank you for coming to say hi to us today. It was super lovely meeting you. I hope you've had a really good day. Peace and love, Bella. Chris, with a kiss. Isn't that lovely? With a little kiss at the end there. Now, Bella did reply to Chris and she said, Hi Chris, thank you so much for, to you all for letting me come over and to say hello. I've had a really tiring day cleaning the rooms in this heat. I hope you've all had a lovely day. It was really lovely meeting you all. I hope you're having an amazing time at Alton Towers. I've been watching you and supporting you since the very start. Hopefully see you all again soon. Have a safe journey home, Bella. So Chris replied, yes, Bella, shouty, very shouty. She says, those pictures are savage. I love them. So I'm not quite sure which pictures he's referring to, possibly pictures that um, are um, relating to Bella, or it could just be the pictures that she took or had taken at Alton Towers with the family. He goes on to say, no, no, thank you. You made our day this morning. So big thank you to you. So Chris going a bit over the top, you know, to reply to this one fan, fan that came to see them. Does he reply to this, to all of them? I doubt it. Can't tell you how much it means your support. It means the universe to us genuinely. So make sure you stay amazing. Yeah. And this is where it starts to get a little bit weird. He went on to say, if you had the pleasure of cleaning our room by any chance, then apologies for the mess. Ha! I blame Sarah. I bet it's super hard work, especially in this heat. I would definitely have myself a cheeky nap in one of the beds for sure. Ha! That's a very weird sort of uh, conversation starter going on there. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's thinking about. Do you live close by then? I'm sure we'll definitely get to bump into each other again soon for sure, Chris. Thumb... No, it's not thumbs up, it's a, a gang sign emoji. Plus a heart, which is um, kind of crossing the boundary a little bit, Chris, at this stage. Does Sarah know that you are messaging this 19-year-old girl, you know, with heart emojis and stuff like that? So Bella then replied, <laughs> they are pretty savage, referring to the photos. I've been waiting to to meet you all for such a long time. Today has honestly made my day. I'll always support you all as I love your channel. And you're such a genuine and kind-hearted family. And no, I didn't clean your room. I was in the hotels all day. Sarah, <laughs> it, yes, it really is. And they give you so many rooms and only 35 minutes on each room, which is a big struggle to do with so little time. Yes, I've been tempted to. <laughs> I live about 15 minutes away in the car. Cheadle, if you know where that is. Chris replied, yes, defo. Gonna take you up on that brew offer for sure. I know Cheadle well, so you're probably gonna regret that offer of a brew when you have us rocking up on your front door <laughs> i bet you must see some sights though i mean peeps get up to some raw stuff in hotel rooms right <laughs> god that's so inappropriate to ask anybody seriously seriously though thank you so much for your kind words and even more so for your lovely gifts too we've been loving your after eights all day do you have Instagram or Snapchat at all? So Belle must have passed on her Snapchat because soon enough, pretty much the same day, they started um, Snapchatting. Now, I'm not sure if I've got all these in the correct order, right? Because none of them are date stamped so or time stamped, so I can't be for certain. So I'll try and read these and in or out of context. They're all pretty damning. 
Chris says, you're a proper genuine person. I could tell that from the second we met this morning. You've got a real likability about you. So that alongside the fact that you're easy on the eye, I reckon a YouTube and Instagram influencer would be a great thing for you. Your fitness alone on Instagram inspired me. Uh, so you could inspire a lot of people with it too. It's funny you saying that you don't have much confidence because the first thing I thought about you was that you must be one of those types that has tons of confidence. You clearly look after yourself and you're super pretty, so, you know. <laughs> and Bella replied, oh, thank you so much, as are you. Have I really? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Or has has it actually, well, I didn't know I'd influence you. Chris says, just literally on the way to the car, I have a huge reply for you coming just just bear with me i have a really cool idea for you but i might need might have to explain it properly uh, when i'm home this evening we have a three hour drive back but that would be but that it will be worth the wait. He goes on to say, yes, I have a really cool idea for you, Bella. Trust me, we'll have a chat when I get back home tonight. I think you're gonna be buzzing with this. Keep it on the quiet between us two, though. Top secret style. But yeah, you're gonna be buzzing for sure. P.S. It's normally a two-hour drive, but... Apparently, the traffic is a bitch tonight. Fingers crossed. Bella replied, okay, I'm a little bit scared um, what this idea is. Yeah, of course you can. That, Of course you can trust me. I'm not like that. You're, you're so kind to me. Bella says, okay, no worries. Yeah, of course, that's fine. Honestly, thank you for taking so much time out of your day to reply back to me. I I never expected to be speaking to you ever. Wow, that's a long drive. I hope you get home safely. And Chris replied, don't be daft. You don't need to thank me. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting us. Oh, and also thank you for the After Eights too. Pow. <laughs> pow. Pow. He's always had it, you know, the pow. <laughs> pow, wow, super duper. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I was staying here tonight again, I would like... Yo, come down for a chiller at midnight and when I have finished editing. Ha! <laughs> and um, Bella replies, of course I do. And honestly, you've, you're have welcome. I love your videos that you do every day. And each day your editing gets better. So sick. Uh, yeah, that would have been lovely. Ha! So Bella says, how was your stay at Alton Towers? And Chris replies, yo, speaking of that, just been checking out your Insta. You got better abs and thighs than me. <laughs> I don't have a clue where, where he's going with this or why. <laughs> he, he thinks that um, Bella wouldn't have better abs than he has. Because <laughs> Very weird thought process. Anyway, um, and I train mine hard, dude. You need to tell me your secret, Bella replied. Oh no, I haven't, but thank you. I wish. I do aerial arts, if you know what that is. And I want to, I went to Dance Academy for two years. I really want to do YouTube though, like you as well. But I don't think I'd get far. And Chris replied, aerial arts, that's amazing. That's also something I would love to try. I train my upper body hard because skating doesn't. Uh, skating's great for legs and your butt, but I would love to get into something that does good things for your upper body too. Trust though, your abs and thighs are fire. 
you seem like a super interesting person and that's what you need if you ever want to to try your hand at YouTube. Those types of things would be epic to vlog. Plus, you got a new best mate that, that can shout you out too if you ever wanted to do it. <laughs> oh, it's, isn't that lovely? Chris is going to shout her out um, on her new YouTube venture. It's lovely, isn't it? Bella replies, thank you so much. I love doing it. I've only recently started getting back into it. You should really try to do it. It's so much fun and gives you great core strength. You've just got to have a really good upper body strength which I'm also working on doing. Then Chris said, random question, have you ever had a dude come on to you at work like when you're cleaning a room or anything like that? Something I've always wondered about hotel workers, like propositioned you to come <laughs> to come join him in his room. Ha! No, that is just like wrong on so many levels and you can see his thought process here you know he's trying to get into that sort of chat it's not really appropriate um in this situation at all bella replied nope never and i'm glad chris said yeah true that i'm back up your way next week overnight with my skate sponsor so we'll have to come and hook up Bella replied, yes, of course, I'll have to let you know. Let me know what day and I'll get back to you. Another one here, Chris says, the person I met this morning inspired me. That's why I emailed you. Number one, immediately off the bat, you struck me as someone who looks after themselves well. You looked super tidy, perfect hair, brows, and you held yourself really well and was super lovely. P.S. I'm gonna rant a little now, so if I'm pushing too much, just tell me it's all good. So, aside from those um, th those very lovely Snapchat conversations that he had, he also sent these pictures um, with this one that ended up with the drop that towel and resend, which has become a meme to everything right, that's ever happened now the one thing that i've always wondered and we'll never find out i'm sure is what's he replying that to right not that it matters it doesn't matter what it is to but i've always been curious what was sent to him that made him say drop that towel and resend um but yeah that, that's become a meme over the past so many years now uh, but here's an interesting thing, right? The next day when they got home from Alton Towers, Chris was in his kitchen. I want to make sure they can see when you get this present. Here you go, babe. It's a really cool present. So yeah, Chris was in his kitchen and look what he's happened to be wearing. Exactly the same get-up that he sent the picture to Bella with. In the same location so i'm wondering here chris did you take a picture of yourself whilst you were there with or without your wife was was she there at the time with or without your child who was running around at the time were you did you just stop for two minutes take a picture and send it to um to bella did you do that because that to me feels like what actually happened now that we know the whole story behind the Bella incident, because a lot of you may not actually know the full story or remember it, or you might be newbies and may not know the story at all, that is actually what happened. So when Chris and Sarah decided to name their latest child after <laughs> Bella, it seems a little bit weird. But you should call her Alice. One of my friends said it should be Alice because that's like... What about Aurora Bella Alice? <laughs> no, we're taking it too far now with the Aurora. So not only are you naming your baby after the person that Chris had this very intimate and um, odd conversation with back in the day, um, you've also taken your 12-year-old child on her big 12-year-old birthday to um, the same place. Oh, 
Yeah. One of our iFam who works at Alton Towers called Bella came to meet us, didn't she? So I'm going to ask you, Sarah, what actually is the matter with you that you can't see what the hell is wrong with this situation, right? You know who Bella is and you know what happened with Chris and Bella. Whether you work through that as a family or as a couple, that's up to you, right? But then to name your child the same thing as that person and then spend the day at the very location where Chris tried it on with said person on his own child's birthday it feels very yeah no I feel sorry for you Sarah that either you can't see it or you just don't care but should you just tell us that uh, 13 ride is always closed down? So most of them today are all going to be. That ride it goes oh, 60 training. miles per hour, per hour in 2.5 seconds. And you feel it? And you feel it. Big time. Yeah. Right, we're heading towards 13 now because it might be back open. And if not, we'll head somewhere else. Oh. Nemesis, the yes. new one. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing that. Remember doing it? Yeah. Isabel's got. Isabel's got. Jibbity jibbity. This is my favorite ride in the entire park. It's so cool. Let's do it. we're staying in the Alton Towers Hotel and the girls yeah. room is so amazing we let Isla choose the rooms I can't remember what this one's called so good yeah. wow and the other one's a gangster granny room and the gangster granny room is so cool obviously Isla chose that one she's like no I want to stay in this one we're happy with this one we've got a giant teddy bear on the bed as we walked in do you want to hold the teddy bear up JC boy yeah. a teddy bear pardon we got a teddy bear. Yeah. We got a massive teddy bear. Look at that, it's bigger than Jace. It's so cool. <laughs> you are bigger. Definitely bigger. Yeah. What? I'm bigger. You are bigger. The and room. Bigger too. Oh, Daddy's bigger, yeah. yeah bigger. The rooms are really cool themed here. They're really well done, especially that gangster granny room. It's so amazing. It's so, so awesome. But we're just chilling in the room for a bit because we need to get the vlog uploaded. And once that's done, we're going to go... Baby Smaller. What's with that? Baby Smaller. Baby Small. Baby Smaller. Yeah, yeah she's baby. small. We need to... Um, we've just tried to make... We, well, we just made a dinner reservation. Unfortunately, they don't have anything until half past eight. Um, which is um, a bit late. But um, we... um, mommy's bigger. Yeah. But we don't mind. Half past eight is not too bad. It's Ella's like birthday. It's not a big deal. Yay! And first of all, then the first thing... Well, well, the guinea pigs are the tiniest. Yeah, the guinea pigs are the tiniest. They're very small. Yeah. They're all good, the guinea pigs in the caravan. So now we get to chill in the room. And then we're going to go you down. When we've, got, <laughs> when we've got the vlog organised, we're going to go downstairs. There's a Costa Coffee and I am just really would love a Costa Coffee. So we're going to go downstairs, chill for an yeah, hour or so. Yeah. Have a nice Costa and then yeah, go to dinner. Oh, don't even think we filmed what we went on today. I didn't film because it was just raining and really windy so we went to Galactica raining. which is Isla's favourite ride and she absolutely loved that. Mommy. Yes. Wait. What Mila? Mila. Yeah. What? What um, What did you say? The rain is, makes muddy puddles. The rain makes muddy puddles and who jumps in muddy puddles? Papa. Papa. <laughs> 
so we went on Galactica and that was fantastic we went on the new Nemesis ride which was so good I used to love Nemesis and then I went right off it the last time we came here because I literally felt we've not been here for about two years have we two 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 2022 2022 I mean I felt like it just shook my whole bones. It ragged my head, it gave me a headache and I didn't like it. And I heard somebody say on Galactica that the Nemesis ride now, that new improved Nemesis ride, revamped, is a lot smoother and it's so much better. I loved it, it was so good. The ride's still the same, like it's still a really good ride. The theming's changed a little bit and it's really good, but it's a really smooth ride now which really does make a big difference in my opinion for a roller coaster. I hate it when you get shaken everywhere. So really enjoyed that. And then we went on, can you remember what the alien ghost ride used to be called? Um, um, uh -huh, um. What's it called? I can like see the, I can see the thing in my head. It's like it used to be like a little, Haunted house. It's a shoot em up game. You, you yeah, and you get like, you and you have like, little, you used to shoot zombies as you went round. Mm. No, that's changed. That's yeah, now called Mom, Alton wait, House. Wait, you shoot I think it's called Alton House, like, or something like that. I might have got that wrong, but I think it's called Alton House, and it's a ghost train, and it's terrifying. Me and the three older girls went on. It's not a princess. Me and the three older girls went on today because we were like, let's see what this is like for Jace. Let's like try it out before we take Jace on it. Woohoo! It's a good job. Because even I went nearly crying. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. But yeah, it was intense. And I think that's all we. Don't wind her up, Jace. Don't wind her up, Peter. I think that was um, pretty much everything we went on today because of the weather. But we're going back tomorrow. We're meeting some friends tomorrow, so it's going to be a good day. We're gonna have a nice chill now. Go down for a costa, and then we'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys at dinner. Restaurant after a lovely little chill. We just ordered our food. The menu, I will say, is what's this restaurant called? The Secret Garden. It's a Secret Garden restaurant, I will say, and I think I remember this from last time we came here. If, I do remember the menu being the same. I remember thinking the same. It's not massive. There's not a massive menu, but there is a good selection. It's just that, for example, there's a burger, but only one option for a burger, not like five different options which is what you sometimes get in other restaurants or pubs and things like that but there is a good selection so three of us went for a burger Isabel went for the lemon chicken and it looks very good and Isla went for a juicy pasta dish Isla's got a cough bless her so she's got what running you look like you've been crying she's got a cough and she's got a real bad tickle in her throat which started about two days ago We've been in the caravan, so they've all known about it. <laughs> well, you weren't coughing bad though. You had a bit of a tickle. Um, anyway, Isla went for not Isla. Mila went for a gnocchi meal, and Jace wanted the cheeseburger meal as well. So I'm very excited for it arriving. And what about you, Ted? What do you want? Perfect. You don't want to put that in your mouth. That's monkey. You want that as beads? Okay, fine. This no monkey. What? <laughs> Not wrong with them beads. Not wrong with them beads. Okay, what have we got? Ignore Rory to the chip over there. We've got a burger. Mila's little gnocchi. Gnocchi? Gnocchi or yum. gnocchi? Yum. Gnocchi. No, no, gnocchi, I think it's gnocchi. A burger. A burger. Daisy Boy's got a burger. Isla's got her chicken. And Isla's the birthday girl. Got Lovely. This is like cheese but in a crisp and then this is mozzarella so yummy. It looks so good. <laughs> right. <laughs> As May's just made up, a, made up a joke, a you're going to get called out big time if you're lying. No, I'm not lying, I made it's up. It's definitely already a joke. It's, it's, she, it's she's it's like, let's see how many of you guys will make laugh from a zero, right? You Wait, no, this is quite a good joke. Why do bees have sticky hair? <laughs> I don't know, Esme, why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was I quite good. Don't look like a good one. Are you joking? Did you lie? Esme, 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 Esme. I'm not lying. Esme. <gasps> you scammer. Guys, an, English, an Englishman and an Irishman and an American no, walk into a bar. And they all go, ouch! Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Why did I get it? An 
They walked the into the bar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you're still on YouTube, you're still influencing people, and I feel like you are getting bigger for your boots than you were. So, um, anyway, until next time, guys, please give this video a massive thumbs up, comment all of your thoughts about it down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And until next time, have a brilliant day, take care, and bye bye.